Okay, guys, I'm trying to take two. <laughs> trying to uh, get this video done. I'm a little out of practice. Uh, it's been a long time since I've been doing firearm videos, and I'm starting to get into it again. And I see you guys like it because the hits you get are, are a lot more than just, you know, looking at holsters. By the way, holster sale is till the 20th of Christmas, the 20th of this month. So you only got a few days left and you put the coupon code in and you get uh, money off the, your purchase uh, on anything on the site. And the coupon code is AMMO, AMMO, A-M-M-O, okay? So just get that off the bat there. The link will be under the video. So this, this is a, a Krebs C18, I believe. A C18. A, A, C, it's an A, C, 18, okay, um, it's a, a AK platform, it's pretty much an AK, they just don't call it that, it's an AK platform, and through my experience of getting this type of rifle, I've always, if you've been watching my channel, I'm an AK buff, um, I'm not, um, isolated to an AK, and, a, and a, I'm not, um, an expert in anything as far as firearms go. I just give you my review for what I had experience with, okay? That's all I can do. So if you're looking for an AK, you can spend between, see it's hard to give gun prices now because of asshole in the, in, in the White House, you know what I mean? So prices on everything are all over the place. So I'm gonna give you prices when I bought them. So you can you have an entry level AK and it's called a Wasser 10 from Century Arms, and Century Arms makes a lot of different model AKs, and that's a good firearms company. Especially co uh, customer service is fantastic. Um, they even gave me some firearms to uh, review and didn't even want them back. That's how nice they were to me, and I don't have that big of a channel. And this was back when I had like. Uh, maybe like 50, 60,000 subscribers, you know, so, but, um, good company, their AKs are pretty much entry level, um, they're not super high end, but this is my point with the AK, you can get the cheapest AK you can find, the cheapest piece of crap you can find, and it's going to run like a freight train, it's not going to jam, it's not going to do anything, because it's not... Um, it's not the beauty of the rifle, it's, it's, the, it's the, the design of the rifle. You know what I'm saying? It's like, look at a Glock, okay? There's nothing pretty about it. And you can buy one that looks like it's been drugged through the, uh, the desert and everything, you know, and nine times out of ten it's going to run. Uh, an AK is even more reliable than a Glock. These things are probably the most um, reliable firearms designed, I think, ever as far as um, for rough conditions. I don't think there's a, a rifle more um, of reliable than the AK design. So that's a good feeling. So that's like, well, that's my zombie go-to because I know it's not going to fail me, right? So... There's always exceptions, you know what I mean? So you can get an entry level, I think they're called a Wasser 10. I had a Wasser 10, you know, it doesn't have very nice wood on it. There's, it's not a nice finish. It looks like it's brushed shellac. You know, it's not like a nice, fine sprayed clear coat, you know what I mean? Uh, the furniture fit to receiver. Uh, has a little spacing problems on it, but doesn't affect the rifle whatsoever. Uh, it's just a look thing. The finish on it's pretty rough, you know what I mean? Um, but they just run, 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 run. Okay, so if that's what you want, something you just like throwing around, throw it in the back of your truck, you're gonna go shooting, you know, that's the one to get. Because it's, it's still gonna be reliable and it's still gonna be great for you. It's gonna do what you want it to do, no matter what, even though it's cheap. Then you can go up another step. 
I mean, Palmetto State Armory makes them now. You should see theirs. They're really nice looking. Um, but then you can go step up in uh, Century Arms. You can go with the uh, the V2, I believe it's called. I had one of them for a while. And uh, it's probably, out of every AK I've ever seen, as far as milled receivers go, it's definitely, no doubt about it, the nicest finish I've ever seen. It looks like a, it looks like real blowing. Did you see my latest 1911? It looks like that. It looks like Colt blued it. I mean, it's just, you can't believe how nice it is. And um, it's a mill receiver, which is nice, but it makes it heavy. I think the more traditional AKs are stamped. Uh, why do I think that? Because I make holsters for this gun shop, and he specializes in World War II era firearms. And he has a uh, time period, from that time period, AKs there in the store. And they're stamped, and they're like 2500 bucks. Okay? Because that's, that's if, if a purist wants it from that time period, you're going to have to pay for it. And they are stamped. So anyway, where was I? This is where I forget my shit. Hold on. Oh, man. Okay. That left a mark. I had a fart. I'm sorry. Actually, it wasn't a fart. It was my ass blowing you a kiss. So. Anyway. Uh, so that's that. So I went to the V2. Very big step up as far as... Um, cosmetic looks wise the wood is gorgeous it's a dark walnut uh the finish is fucking gorgeous finish the fit to the receiver is perfect um the trigger is nice uh it has a green mountain barrel the v2 which is supposed to be fantastic barrels um, i'm trying to remember everything i can about it it also has which i'm not a fan of an AR-15, an AR design trigger system. As far as the trigger and the spring system is AR-15. Why they did that, I don't know if they were trying to be, they thought maybe that would make it more appealing. I don't know, but to me it's not. Uh, an AK is an AK and the reliable is reliable because of the design. And right there, they changed the design in that area. But they're, they're they're beautiful. Um, they're like 800 bucks. Okay. The Wasser 10 is like six. Um, let's see what other ones. Palmetto State Armory makes a nice uh, stamped AK. They're friggin' nice. Made here in America and all that. Okay. Uh, that's another one I suggest. I think they're like between seven and eight, maybe. Cause I used to work at a gun shop and I'm trying to remember how much they were, but I did handle one and they're fucking nice. And they look great. They're all flat black. They're not friggin' shiny. And, and cause shiny looks cheap to me and shiny uh, is not tactical to me. I don't like shiny. They're all nice and flat, this finishes. And even my optics flat, you know what I mean? As far as the finish goes. And this is a nice optic. This is a Holison, very affordable one. And it's uh, motion activated, so you never have to worry about the battery. You know how long I had the battery in this freaking thing? Let me see if it's even still on. Yep. I've had the battery in this thing forever, man. It has to be like, I, I'm, a, I'm qualified to say years. That's how long it's been on there. How many years? I don't know. You know, not a decade or anything. So that, that really is awesome. I love that. And it's a really good optic, and it's not big, it's nice and small, it looks uh, very appropriate for this, and I can see through my iron sights perfectly, and then the red dot's right on the top of that front sight, and this is, this is great, you know. So you can go with uh, the V2 if you're a visual guy, uh, you can go to Palmetto State Armory, if you're uh, more of a traditional guy and they're beautiful looking, they're very tactical looking. Uh, I, I don't know if they make ones with the wood look. They probably do. Because when I seen them, they were first making them. And I was very impressed when I seen one. So they're really nice. Um, 
Century Arms makes a bunch of different ones. I just can't remember. And I had a bunch of them. They had the uh, the M70. Here's another one. Um, the M70 Polish, I think it's called. I think it was the Polish AK. And the only thing about the M70 is the receiver isn't true to length uh, with a true what a true spec AK is. Uh, is it the receiver? No, it's not the receiver. I think it's uh, the furniture. This part. So the, I guess the the, gla the the gas tube might be a little longer or something. You can't get traditional AK furniture and put it on an M70. You have to get M70 AK furniture to go on it. Okay? Uh, unless they changed it. So another thing I um, want to tell you about something about the V2. I'm going back to the V2. It has a milled receiver, <clears throat> which is cool. Um, you, It'll take... Um, traditional AK size furniture, the V2. Yes, it will do that. Both stock and uh, gas tube section. Yep. So it's pretty cool, man. And it's a milled receiver and it can do it. Because the milled, uh, the stamp receivers have a, has a certain shape for the wood stock. The milled receivers traditionally don't have that fork where the wood stock fits over it, but the Century Arms is the only milled receiver that has that fork that can go into a traditional AK furniture stock. So the V2, there's some advantage for you right there for the for a milled receiver. So there that is. Um, talking about the Tang, there's a Tang here. I don't want to get into that. Getting off subject again. So you can do that. And uh, and then and then you go up to the uh, there's like no in between from there I don't think I think it's either uh, I'm going by prices when I bought them because douchebag in the White House the pri uh, prices on everything are all over the place so um, so you're going from like eight hundred to a thousand and then it jumps all the way up to like fifteen to two grand. Uh, I haven't seen prices with an AK new for like 1400 or 1200 you know. Just, I haven't. <clears throat> so then you want to go up, and if you're going to go up, you're going to go up to this. This is a Krebs. They are manufactured in America. They are super refined. Everything is top-notch. The receiver is very, very durable and very exceptional to look at. Uh, again, it's got the flat finish like I do. I hate to say paint because it's, it's better than paint, you know. Um, super, you know, taxable. It's not your wood AK. Of course, you can see that. It has a QD lock here. Um, I don't have a sling on it. Uh, I got the stubby Tapco grip on it. Uh, it has a the, the the biggest thing about the, the two biggest things to me with this gun is it's not the looks it's not the cool heat shield or nothing like that it's the trigger the trigger is so nice be careful it's one of those triggers that are so nice you have to be careful because it's so smooth that's how nice it is so like make sure you're on target and you're ready to shoot before you put your finger on that trigger it's a super nice trigger. Uh, it's just ridiculous how nice it is. Okay, and that's the one thing I like about it. The other thing I like about it is the Picatinny rail is not mounted on the dust cover. A lot of AKs, the Picatinny rail is mounted on the dust cover. And a lot of AKs, dust covers, rock back and forth, which is normal for a lower end AK. This one is rock solid, but I think over time, after maybe a couple thousand rounds, I think this will start to move a little bit. So when you have an optic mounted to something, you don't want any movement at all. You want it to be like solid as a rock. So what they did was they got this. It's a very thick steel too, this uh, Picatinny rail. They got this steel rail and mounted it to the steel block. This is like a block of steel right here. All right, it's mounted here. It's mounted here. And then it tails off. 
and it doesn't budge at all and then you tighten down your optic on it man and you're good to go nothing's moving okay weight wise it's it's heavy but i got a bunch of shit on it i got this protac light on it i got the t uh, momentary switch on it which has velcro on it which is shitty i have another idea for that that's that's changing if you want to hear it, I'll tell you now. I think instead of using Velcro, use 3M mounting tape. It's not, not double face tape, it's mounting tape. It's a big difference. And you gotta go to Home Depot, high strength 3M mounting tape. It's the same tape they use that when you put um, a badge on your car. Like my Challenger says, uh, engine number 345, and then it has a, a Challenger badge under it that's stuck on there and you know guys them, them things don't come off unless you pull them off They go through car washes winter summer hot cold, you know, they just stay on there So I'm thinking if that works for that That's gonna work for this and It's a lot thinner than the velcro the velcro is thick is thick It moves it it moves all over the place I can't stand it and the glue on velcro Get soft after a while, um, and it sucks. It just sucks. I hate Velcro. Uh, this doesn't get hot. It's a heat shield because we all know heat loosens glue, right? But this doesn't get hot. Okay, right? It's it's especially where this is mounted. It's not even near the barrel. It's down low here. So uh, I think it's going to work. It's going to be a great addition. So that, that's all I really could tell you if, uh, if you're going to, you know, which AK do you pick. This is which AK do you pick part two. Part one is uh, in my video somewhere a long time ago. So I don't want to take it apart. I'd like to, but it's prohibited. But I'm just showing you. So another thing is um, don't go cheap on them. Well, I don't understand why people do this. Don't buy these, these aftermarket magazines. And, and Glock, a lot of Glock owners do this. They'll buy these aftermarket magazines. They're like, oh, look at this mag. It holds 20 rounds. And I'm like, is it a Glock factory mag? Nah, nah. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Because uh, they're clear, first of all, clear plastic, which I hate that. But, um, you got to remember, a Glock, a Glock mag is like a Bulgarian Circle 10 mag. It's the same idea okay so for me from what i seen these are the most durable mags you can get for an ak ak platform all right it has the the checkered look and then at the bottom it has a circle with a 10 in it so like a glock it's a steel skeleton with palm pommeler wrap polymer not pommeler 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 henderson right it's polymer wrapped around a steel, a steel skeleton, just like a Glock is. So what I mean by that is all your stress points and wear points on this particular magazine are steel. Most AK mags are plastic. They're plastic where it, where it clicks in. They're plastic where the feed lips are. And they're the most stressful points of the magazine, okay? And this mag, is such a strong mag, I, you gotta hold it. You gotta hold one and you'll feel it right away. So you'll see it's got steel feed lips so they don't wear out. You'll see it has where it locks in underneath to the receiver, the catch is solid steel, all right? And then you could see here where they make it, um, they had to grind it down to smooth it. Uh, there, there was a, uh, a pin there and you can see it's flush and you can see it's metal so there's metal coming down um the floor plate is steel it's just it's, there's no flex i mean just thing smokes magpul aks but you know double the price these things are like 60 bucks so hey you're gonna have a friggin 1800 dollar rifle can you have a 60 dollar magazine yeah i think you can so I got, I don't have a lot of them. I have like six, five or six of them. Um, uh, if you do want them, believe it or not, 
Uh, there's one place you can get them. Every time I go in the gun store, I never see them. Um, you can get them from KVAR. They're made in Las Vegas. KVAR. K-V-A-R. And that's where I got them. Till I made holsters for the bunker gun shop. They have a big box full of them and keep them in stock. So if you want one of these and not have to, you know, get it from Vegas, you can go to the Bunker Gun Shop. It's in Warminster, Pennsylvania, okay? I live in Delaware County, so it's like 45 minutes from here. But um, they have them. And when I went near my holsters and I looked around, I said, are they circle tens? Yeah, holy shit. You never see them in a gun shop. So I grabbed a couple. So there, you can get them there. And that's, that's all I can tell you about the AK platform, guys. It's all what you want and how much you are willing to spend. Some of you may think this isn't worth spending that much. That's fine. It's just like buying an Ed Brown 1911. Well, I can go buy a Springfield or a Colt for a fraction of the price, and they're reliable. They are, but the Ed Brown is much more refined. It's like a friggin' Rolex, you know what I mean? So it's just a, you know, it's just what you want. You know, it's like, if I can afford it, I want the best made one, the most polished, refined, put together AK that I can get, if you're like, if that's the kind of person you are. And to me, the Krebs, uh, for me, I, the ones I've had, I think the Krebs is the best one, all right? So that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget about the Christmas sale. The coupon code is AMMO. Okay.